In this video we are going to learn about ordering fractions. In the previous video we looked at how to compare fractions using equivalent fractions. So we are going to use equivalent fractions in order to compare these and order these fractions. So if you haven't watched the equivalent fractions video, I highly recommend you watch this video and it will help you with ordering fractions. At the end of this video, you will have some practice questions as well, so please do have a go at those. So let's have a look at this question here. So we are ordering two fifths, six tenths and a half from the smallest to the largest fraction. In order to do ordering fractions, we need to make sure that the denominators are the same so we can compare the fractions easily. So let's have a look at the first one. So two fifths, and six tenth and half they all have different denominators so we can see five into the both factors of ten so we can change the denominators into ten so let's go ahead and multiply two fifths by two that means we have to multiply the numerator by two as well because of the rule of equivalent fraction that gives us four over ten and let's go ahead and change half. If we multiply the numerator and denominator by 5, that gives us 5 over 10. So we change the denominators into 10. So now we can compare all the fractions. So the fractions are 4 over 10, 6 over 10, and then 5 over 10. Now out of these fractions, we can see 4 out of 10 is the smallest. Now when you write the answer, the actual answer, you need to make sure you write down the original fraction that was given in the question. So 4 over 20 is equivalent to 2 fifths, so we're going to write down 2 fifths because that's the question, that's the fraction in our question, so 2 fifths. So we deal with that already. The next one is 5 tenths, but the original fraction in the question is half. And then we have 6 tenths which is same as 6 tenths and we have ordered these fractions from smallest to largest let's have a look at uh, these two examples so we can see we have 2 thirds, 4 ninths and n third now we can see 3 and 3 both denominators are factors of 9 so we can change them into 9 so multiply by 3 multiply by 3 that gives us 6 over 9 and this one multiply by 3 multiply by 3 that gives us 3 over 9 out of these fractions 6 over 9 4 over 9 and 3 over 9 we can see 3 over 9 is the smallest so we can go ahead and write down the original fraction in the question which is a third the smallest then we have 4 over 9 Two thirds. Let's have a look at the second example. Five twelfths, four six, and three quarters. We can see six and four; they're both factors of twelve. So we can go ahead and find the equivalent fractions by multiplying it by four six by two. That gives us eight over twelve. And three quarters. We can multiply by three to make the denominator into a twelve. That gives us 9 over 12. Now we can see 5 over 12 is the smallest out of all. So we can go ahead and write down 5 over 12 first. Then we have 8 over 12, but the original fraction is 4 over 6. That was given on the question. And then we have 9 over 12. So it's going to be 3 quarters, which is the original fraction given in the question. And we have ordered these fractions from smallest to the largest. Here are some practice questions for you to try. Pause the video and have a go and when you're ready press play and I will go through the answers. I hope you had a good go at ordering these fractions from smallest to largest. So let's go ahead and do the first one. We can see uh, the highest denominator is 8 and 2 and 4 is a factor of 8 so we can change them into 8 so let's time this by 4 and 4 that gives us 4 over 8 3 over 8 we don't need to change this one leave it as it is and this one we can times by 2 
so that the denominator becomes 8 and that gives us 6 over 8 so the smallest fraction we have here is 3 8 so 3 8 is the original fraction in the question then we have 4 8 which is half and then 6 8 which is 3 quarters and that's our answer question number 2 we have 4 6 and 12 as the denominator so a common number will be 12 because we can multiply 5 6 by 2 that gives us 10 over 12 and 3 quarters by 3 that gives us 9 over 12 let's go ahead and order them now so 3 quarters which is 9 12 and 7 12 is the smallest here so 7 12 then we have 10 12 or 9 12 so 9 12 is a smaller one so we're going to write 3 quarters and then 5 6 is the next one and the final question we have 3 fifths and 7 tenths and half we can see we can multiply 5 by 2 and 3 by 2 that gives us 9 over 10 7 over 10 leave it as 7 over 10 and times half by 5 that gives us 5 over 10 so the numerator 10 divided by times by 5 out of all these we can see 5 10 is the smallest so which is half then it's 7 10 and then it's 9 tenths, but the original fraction is 3 fifths. And these are the answers. I hope this video helps. If, did, if it did, then please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you want to check out the, all the other fraction videos, please do check out the link. The playlist will be there. And I will see you in the next video.